<laughs> it's an absolute pleasure to see everybody here. And as I look around the room, seeing so many familiar faces, people who have dedicated their time and energy uh, to making this happen today, but not just this, but making Queensland the place where startups are embraced, where innovation is part of everything that we do. Now look, somebody wrote me a very lovely speech, but I hope you don't mind. I'm going to speak just like a normal person to you, if that's okay. Uh, so it might be a bit rough, but I think uh, this is how we go in this space, right? So I wanted to recall a bit of a story. Uh, two years ago, just over two years ago, um, I got to get this incredible job um, in the parliament and then to get to be the Minister for Innovation and Science at the time. Uh, and I was very proud of what we'd come to the um, election with, and I went and spoke to a few people, including our startup working group, of which Steve Baxter was in the room. And I went with this very excited, you know, $50 million research program that we were bringing to, the, bringing to Queensland, and you can imagine how the conversation went. It wasn't very pleasant for me, but, uh, <laughs> but it was a good conversation, because at that very moment, uh, in that conversation with people who knew what was going on, who people who had a vision for the future. Um, at that very moment, I knew that we had to do more than just uh, research. And of course, research is important and we still invest in that, but we need to do more. And that's why it was a very easy task to go and fight very hard for a $180 million advanced Queensland initiative and now a $405 million whole of government advanced Queensland initiative that is really putting this state on the map in terms of our innovation agenda. When you look at the number of startups that are being created in this state in just the last two years even, uh, the Startup Muster Report indicates very strongly that we are now second in the country in terms of startups. In fact, we have overtaken Victoria, much to the Victorian Minister's uh, displeasure, but I am very happy about that. And we are only behind New South Wales in terms of the number of startups, according to that report. And I think places like this, the precinct, uh, these sort of places are the places where we'll see that growth take us even further and perhaps even be the best in the country. Not perhaps, but one day we will be the best in the country, the place where you will come to invest, where you will come to take, you'll bring your great ideas and you'll turn those great ideas into commercial reality and our state will benefit from that into the future. But ladies and gentlemen, these kinds of events and this precinct doesn't happen alone. And I want to uh, thank in particular the Startup Working Group who in that one meeting uh, changed the complete direction of where we were heading for the state. Uh, they have worked tirelessly. Uh, they fought for this particular um, precinct. They fought very hard for it. And now we have it. And it is down to their um, hard work and their advocacy and their their ability to work with others. And that's one thing that I've learnt very, very quickly is that the sense of collaboration is really where we see the greatest um, opportunities and the greatest um, success in terms of where we head next. I want to thank the department in particular who I've asked them to do things differently. And those of you who have worked with governments over the years will know that that is a difficult thing sometimes. But every single person who's been engaged in this project, I won't name them all, but they're the ones that look absolutely exhausted. Um, and they're lining up for some massage downstairs, but the Thai massage, I think. Yeah. Anyway, uh, they're the ones that are absolutely exhausted. Uh, but they have just worked tirelessly and every time they came, and Paul Martin I see in the front, every time he came to me with, um, oh we need a little bit more time before we open, uh, with me just not being very happy and he continuing to work really hard to make this all happen. I want to thank the department for that um, incredible hard work. Uh, obviously the developers and the architects um, who have helped design this incredible, I mean isn't it amazing? It looks incredible. Um, and this is the home for innovation, the home for startups in our state. But it won't just be a place that sits by itself. Uh, our hope and our goal, our ambition, is to see this energy, this creativity, this structured serendipity, 
uh, repeated over and over across our state. That's why we have also invested $6 million across our state in the Regional Innovation Fund. And I've seen a number of people from our regions here today. I think I saw Troy from, um, uh, from, from Cairns um, and a number of others I can see. I won't start listing because I'll miss somebody. Uh, but that is our goal. We want to see what happens here reflected right across the state so that no matter where you are in Queensland, uh, whatever your challenges might be, that we are all engaged in this conversation about innovation uh, in every part of our industries, um, whether that be agriculture, tourism, education, uh, whether it be uh, in mining, uh, or just in the services industry as we see that grow and grow. We want every part of our state engaged in this. And so today, on this momentous day, after really not that long, it's only been a couple of years since that initial conversation, and we have worked very hard, all of us together, uh, to make this happen, along with numerous projects under our Advanced Queensland Initiative, to really set the right environment uh, for innovation, for startup, uh, for incredible creativity in our state to take hold and take off. Uh, so today, I am absolutely thrilled, I'm ab and I'm sorry, I, I was so excited I couldn't even read this speech, that uh, you know, here we are now, after all this hard work, an abso absolutely incredible venue, somewhere where you will all come again and again, no doubt, to share your ideas and to grow new ideas for our state. It's an absolute pleasure to open it officially today, but it's an even greater pleasure to have done this alongside so many of you who have committed your time and energy um, to making sure that Queensland is the place to invest and that Queensland is a place to come, bring your ideas and to grow business. Thank you.